Now the second part 11 to 20th, 11th screw gauge gives the following reading when used, main scale reading 0, circular scale reading 52 division, given that 1 mm on main scale corresponds to 100 division that means you can make out least count is equal to 1 over 100 mm or you can write it as 1 over 1000 centimeter. So, this is 0 0.001 centimeter. Now, 52 divisions are there, so the reading would be 52 into 0 0.001, so 0 0.052 centimeters. So, this would be option 1. Next, find the value of the angle of emergence from the prism reflecting angle of the prism is root 3. So, here you see it is normal incidence. So, this angle is 90 degree, this is 90 degree from the geometry, this angle comes out as 30, this will come out as 60 and if I draw the normal from here, this angle would be 30 degrees. So, now 30 degrees for this, uh, the critical angle would be, uh, we say the sin inverse root 3, that would be the critical angle. Okay. So, uh, the critical angle, yes, uh, the critical angle would be uh, one uh, the sin inverse root 3. So, this is definitely not going to TIR. So, it will emerge from the other side and uh, we apply the Snell's law root 3 into sin of 30 degrees is equal to 1 into sin of emergence angle. So, sin of emergence angle is equal to root 3 by 2. So, E is equal to 60 degrees. So, option 2 would be the answer. Next, in a potentiometer circuit 1.5 volt gives a reading at 36. So, if 2.5 volt is uh, re uh, replaces the first cell then the length would be. So, you know 1.5 upon 2.5 would be L1 by L2 that is 36 over this L2. So, this L2 comes out as 36 into 2.5 over 1.5. So, if you do this, uh, this 15, this would be 12 times 12. Uh, not 12 times sorry it would be uh, it would be uh, wait a minute it would be 24 times not 12 times it would be 24 times so 24 into 2.5 that is equal to 60 centimeters second is correct next particle is released from a height s from the surface of the earth at a certain height its kinetic energy is three times its potential energy so k is equal to 3 u and we know k plus u is equal to e so what i can say e is equal to 4 u at that point the height from the surface of earth and the speed of the particle at that instant are respectively ok. It is released from height s from the surface of the earth certain height its kinetic energy is 3 times its potential energy the height from the surface of earth and the speed at this instant would be. So, it means the energy which it was possessing one fourth is lost that we can say because uh, it is a uh, k is 3 of u sorry. So, that means 3 fourth of the energy is uh, lost. So, 3 fourth of the total energy is lost. So, I think because it is a question in the NEET, I let it, they have simply taken it to be mgh. So, write E is equal to mg, let us say height is s. So, at this height u becomes e by 4. So, the height would be s by 4 for sure and the kinetic energy you know would be 3 fourth of that. So, 3 fourth mg s and that would be equal to half m v square. So, speed I can make it out it would be 3 by 2 g s under root. So, we can go with option 1 in this case. Next, effective resistance of a parallel connection that consists of 4 wires of same length, same area and same material is 0.25. So, in parallel if you have a equivalent wires, so r by 4 is 0.25. So, r becomes equals to 1 ohm. So, if they are connected in series it would be 4 r, 4 r means it would be 4 ohm. So, the option 1 that is an easy one. Next, Water falls from a height of 60 meter at the rate of 15 kg per second to operate a turbine. The losses due to frictional forces are 10 percent of the input energy. How much energy power is generated by the turbine? Okay. So, water falls from a height of 60 at the rate of 15 kg per second. So, the power that is coming is 15 kg per second and uh, uh, let me 15 kg per second and uh, g is what you have. You have 10 meter per second square and uh, it is 60 meters. So, if I do this, this would be kg meter square per second that is the unit you use for that is the unit kg meter square per second cube we are getting. So, it is 150 into 60 what we will have this is 900, 9000 you can say what that is the input power. The losses are 10 percent of the input energy. So, what we will have we will have 8100 watt. So, the power is generated as 8.1 kilowatt that you can do next. Infinitely long straight conductor carries a current of 5 ampere. Electron is moving with a speed of 10 to the power 5 parallel to the conductor. Okay, we know parallel to the conductor. The perpendicular distance is 20 cent centimeter at the instant. The force we know the magnetic field due to this uh, would be coming outwards, and because electron is going there, so V cross B. If you do it, comes downwards. So the electron will experience a force upwards, and because it is perpendicular, it would be E V B. 
so 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 v what you have 10 to the power 5 and b because it is in finite wire mu naught i by 2 pi r mu naught by 2 pi is what you write 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 i is 5 and the distance is 20 so you can write it as 1 by 5 meter so that is 25 into 250 50 into 1.6 that is 80 and this would be 10 to the power 19 26 21 so 10 to the power 21 that we are getting minus 21 uh, the, the, that would be the answer. So, 8 into 10 to the power minus 20 Newton that is the option we will get option 1. Next, consider the following statement and identify Zener diode is connected in reverse bias. We, we know this potential barrier of a PN junction lies between 0 0.1 volt and 0 point. Uh, silicon we know it is 0.7. So, it would be doubtful to say it for uh, germanium we have 0.2. So, I think this is a somewhat a dubious one first is definitely correct. So, A is correct and for B it could be anything it is uh, tough to uh, say at this point we will give the final answer afterwards uh, leave it for now 19. The spring is set by 5 centimeter by a force 10 newton the time period of the oscillation is the mass of 2 kg is suspended by it is ok. So, F is equal to kx. So, the value of k is 10 over uh, you can write it 1 by 20 so it would be 200 newton per meter. So, now the time period, time period you know is 2 pi under root m by k 2 upon 200 that is 2 pi upon 1 by 100. So, it is 2 pi by 10. So, it comes out as pi by 5. Pi by 5 means 3.14 by 5 that comes out as 0 0.628 seconds. So, this is option 1. Next, electron concentration in n type semiconductor is the same as whole concentration. So, n e is equal to n h. Uh, an external field is applied across each of them. Okay, uh, compare the currents in them. Uh, wait a minute, n type. Okay, in n, oh, sorry, this is uh, different. When we have an n type and when we have a p type, and where the electron concentration, the whole concentration is same. External field is applied across each of them. Compare the current. We know electrons are more mobile. So, because electrons are more mobile, current in the n type will going to be exceed than the current in the p type. That is, it is going to be a tough question.